What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Taurus, and you enjoy my content, if you could ring the little bell and buy my full time, it's super appreciate it. If you enjoy my Gabby mouth and the readings, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is um, hashtag glow up for the side of Taurus for November, November of 2021. This could resonate if you have Taurus in any aspect of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I got one channeled in as I was meditating on your hashtag blow up for the month of November 2021. And I heard once an apology is what I heard. Once an apology. That's what I heard. So you either want an apology or someone, um, you want an apology for someone from someone um, or you want to give an apology to, to someone. However, that resonates in your life for us. However, that resonates. So, I, yeah, I think you either want to give someone an apology or, or you want an apology from someone. So you have to plug it, plug that in. However, that resonates, if that resonates for you. I was going to say while I'm shuffling out, spirit messages you have signed for us. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bestest for real, for real, for real. You are. Um, every like, subscribe, share, unsubscribe, and donation. You guys are just a bomb freaking diggity.com. You are. I love you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. Holy crap. Hold on. Is somebody frazzled? Or you're frazzling somebody? Because the cars just freaking flew everywhere. Just saying, just saying. I do. I feel you're either frazzling somebody or um, somebody's frazzled by you. Oh, that resonates. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> For some, you could be dealing with an air sign. This is air sign energy. If you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter chart charts. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, thirty number thirty nine could be very significant in your life. Number thirty nine and twenty nine. Those could be significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. That could be age of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be a possible date of birth number, possible social security number, possible green card number, possible lottery number, um, possible um, significant reoccurring numbers you're seeing on billboards or advertisements in some shape, form, or fashion. 39 and 29. Moth spirit, surrender now. Like I said, this is air sign energy. So for some, you could be dealing with air sign. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, and Jupiter. A Taurus really wanted to work it out with the fire sign, but it's not going to happen. They intuitively know this. For some Tauruses, a water sign is going to be very significant in their life. For some, an air sign. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. I heard a um, Taurus really wanted to work it out with a fire sign, but I heard it's not going to happen. Um, for some of you guys, uh, air signs, um, sorry, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. For some, an air sign, I'm sorry. For some, an air sign is going to be significant in your life, and for some, a water sign. So, uh, air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for some, both. And for some, both. Some, this is workplace connections. For some, this is relationships. For some, business connections. 
okay? So for some of you guys, the air sign and the water sign is a business connection. For some, it's a workplace connection. For some, it is a uh, romantic type connection. Um, like I said, water signs are um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you have the air sign energy in here. So I think the surrender now is uh, working it out with the fire sign um, in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you wanted to, but you realize it's not going to happen, basically. So, fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sag. Come together. Fairies like to be busy, and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, I heard teamwork makes the dream work. And it absolutely does. Absolutely. When people aren't complaining and griping and throwing people under the bus and um, lying on people and going cray cray, teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. Um, when there's no spitefulness, spitefulness or maliciousness or backstabbing or things like that. So hopefully this is in a positive sense. Hopefully you make it in a positive sense. It's all in how you make it and grow it and manifest it. So remember that, okay? Um, hopefully no underhandedness is here in this, just saying. So teamwork makes the dream work come together. I feel for some of you guys, it's in this workplace situation. Um, for some, it is in a business situation. For some, it is in a relationship. So you plug the come together, teamwork makes the dream work in however that needs to resonate in your life. To me, that could resonate in all three aspects because you can't have a relationship with somebody if um, you don't copacetically give, if it's not equal give and take. And that's just the truth for real, for real. That's what causes divorces. That's what causes um, breakups. And that's just the truth, um, relationship-wise. Um, now, we're not talking sneaky third parties and situationships and all that crazy crap. Um, that stuff is just cray cray. I'm talking about a healthy, copacetic relationship. Now, business aspect, that's the same thing. You can't, um, teamwork makes the dream work in a business aspect too. You can't expect a business to properly function or be a partner in a business if you're not doing your share or your part. Um, and that's just the truth for a fro or the other person. And the same thing in an employment situation. Everybody has their own, um, their own specific job, duty, title, responsibilities, et cetera, et cetera. So teamwork makes the dream work. Everybody do what they need to do in a healthy, copacetic way. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. That's a good one. Journal. A particular Taurin is about to write a book soon. Well, you go with your bad self if that resonates for you. Wow. I heard one of you guys is about to write a book soon. Book soon. And a particular Torn is about to take up scrapbooking. Okay. And one of you guys is about to take up scrapbooking. Okay. So somebody's about to write a book soon and somebody's about to take up scrapbooking. Well, you go with your bad self. So in this, then as, this aspect journal is, um, well, it could go scrapbooking or um, book, book writing. That's beautiful. And a particular Torn is about to write a letter to a fire sign. Snail mail. Okay. And I heard a particular particular Torin is about to write a letter to a fire sign snail mail. You are pulling in fire sign energy in here very strong, Taurus. Um, whoever you are and however that resonates. Um, it sounds like a handwritten letter. Um, this is exactly what it sounds like. I heard snail mail, so through the regular mail system. Um, is what that sounds like. So you plug it in how it resonates. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sag. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Mid, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Um, that might be the same fire sign that is, you're wanting to work it out with and you're not going to be able to, or you realize you're not going to be able to, how that resonates. Table, hard work ahead. Lots of hard work coming. 
for a huge project soon for one one particular Taurus. Renovations. Okay, I heard um, lots of hard work coming uh, for one particular Taurus. Renovations. Some on your own home and property, some on other people's property. Okay, I heard some of you guys, it's on, on your own home and property, and for some, it's on other people's property. So, um, I think you might be hired in to renovate somebody else's property for some of you guys. For some, it's on your own home and property. So, lots of hard work ahead in these renovations. And one particular Taurus is a position of high authority in a company, and there is about to be severe chaos and conflict soon. Unethical treatment in a workplace. There will be huge energy shifts here. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates and whoever this is for, your position of high authority in a company. Um, so you are like a manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor in a company somewhere in the universe. Um, there's about to be huge conflicts in it, uh, an unethical treatment, I heard. So um, some kind of unethical treatment. I hope to God you're not unethically treating somebody. Um for some, it could be you unethically treating somebody. For some, it could be somebody you're connected to, or you could be the manager, boss, or CEO about to handle it. But I heard huge um, energy shifts coming, so I think people are going to leave. People are going to leave, or they're going to leave and file lawsuits. How that resonates, and that could be the hard work ahead, too, trying to quote the, the storms and the fires and putting the fires out and um, handling it in a very professional way. Um, however that resonates, it sounds like it's going to be a big thing somewhere in a company somewhere however that resonates it's going to be big okay i heard it's going to be big oh my god i heard it's going to be big oh lord so you plug in how it resonates your manager boss ceo or supervisor in this company if that resonates for you ant work achievement or success Work, achievement, and success. Sorry. Some are writing theses. Graduate school. Okay. Heard some of you guys are writing theses for graduate school. Well, congratulations to you. Holy crap. That's beautiful. So, um, you're, you're working hard to achieve and then you will be successful after you finish your thesis for graduate school. Wow. That is impressive. Congrats for whoever that's for. That's beautiful. That is, that is beautiful. New job at a dialysis center. A nurse. Okay. And one of you guys is a nurse and you have a new job at a dialysis center. Um, congratulations. I've always wanted to do, do dialysis. Um, I'm, I'm a nurse too, for anybody who doesn't know, RN. And I've always wanted to do um, dialysis. Congratulations to whoever that's for. That's beautiful. Um, I, did, I just heard nurse. I don't know if you're LPN, LVN, or RN, but congratulations for that. So you were working hard to get the job at the Dallas Center. You um, sounds like you're about to achieve your goal of getting the job, and hopefully you will be very successful. EMS, high 
hiking in the mountains. Okay, I heard EMS and hiking in the mountains. So some of you guys, I feel you're about to get jobs at uh, emergency, emergency medical services um, type place, or you work at emergency medical services type place, and somebody's about to hike in the mountains. So you plug it in how it resonates, hard work. You're going to achieve your goal of hiking in the mountains. You will be successful. That's beautiful. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And if you think anyone else can benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.